Whenever you ask an Apple user, what are some of the reasons that you stick with iOS? I'm gonna say the top two things that you hear, iMessage, thank God we finally have RCS, AirDrop. Now, if you're an Android user, full-time or part-time like me, you haven't had access to AirDrop. Well, I think I finally found a solution that is just as seamless and just as fast as AirDrop. And today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up and use Samsung Flow. Welcome to IQ Tech Talk. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you so much for being here. Now, while you're here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get started. To get things started, you're gonna to go to the Microsoft Store, click the search box at the top, and we're gonna type in Samsung Flow or just Flow for short. As you see, it's the first option here. We'll go ahead and click that. Now this is gonna take us to the Samsung Flow splash page where you'll see get where I see install. Click get, then click install. And while that's loading, we'll go ahead and switch over to the smartphone. Next on our phone, we're gonna head to the Play Store. Then we're gonna go ahead and search for Samsung Flow the same way we did on our PC. You see I have it here. We're gonna go ahead and click install and we're gonna wait for the installation process to finish. Now, once the installation process is done, we're gonna hit open. You'll see this screen, click agree, and it's going to take us to this screen where we're gonna head back to the PC. Now, back on the PC, we're gonna click launch, close out of the Windows Store, and then we'll proceed with our Samsung Flow window. Now, we're gonna hit start to begin the process. And as you can see here, it's gonna bring up all the devices we can use, my Z Fold 2 and my S21 Ultra. I'm obviously gonna click the S21 Ultra. You can choose Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I personally always choose Wi-Fi. And then from here, you'll see where it's registering the device with the code. On our phone, you'll see the code pop up there. We'll go ahead, confirm that they're correct, hit OK on both devices. And as you can see, setup is complete. Now coming from this screen on your phone, you're gonna have multiple permissions that we have to go ahead and allow Samsung Flow. So that way you can get all the functionality that it has to offer. This does include notification access. So we'll allow that and head back. Now that we have it all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works and how to get media to switch between devices. So first we're gonna head into the gallery where I recorded a 12 minute video just for the sake of demonstration on how this works. This video is in 4K 30. Now it's a black background, so obviously you guys can't see anything in high resolution, but we're gonna click share and you can see right on the right Samsung Flow. However, I have it pinned. On your end, you may not, so you're gonna wanna scroll down just a bit further and you should see Samsung Flow. Now, once you see that, you're gonna click that and you'll see one file added to transfer list. As you can see on the PC, the process has already begun as far as the file transfer. It's extremely fast, it's extremely seamless. And once the file actually finishes downloading here in just a few seconds, there you go. You can double click the file and it'll bring up the content that you sent over in all full resolution with no issues. So that's Samsung Flow, guys. Now don't forget, leave a comment down below and let me know. Have you ever heard of Samsung Flow? And after this video, do you plan to go and try it out for yourself? Thanks so much again for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, ladies and gentlemen.